the MBB program um, provides a, a strong foundation in life sciences, so the study of, of living organisms at the molecular, cellular level, um, but, but even, even much broader in looking at how organisms adapt to stresses in the environment uh, or, or even looking, trying to understand the origins of life. So students in the program get uh, this very strong foundation in their lower division courses and then they can branch out and take courses they're really interested in in, in the upper division. Um, they can do joint majors with chemistry, with business, with computing sciences. They can get a certificate in genomics. They can, we, we've just introduced um, a new concentration in infection and immunity. So we're trying to provide a really broad uh, field of study for students who can have the strong foundation but then can drill down into what they're really interested in. I think definitely having a smaller class size does uh, improve and benefit the student to interact with the supervisor. I think for larger universities it's a bit more competitive to get at least five minutes to talk to your professor. I, I love to be able to connect with students. I love it when they come to my office hours and ask me even tangential questions about something that I talked about in class that tells me they're thinking and they're applying it to to life, and I, I like the the opportunity to empower students. I just think right now is a great time to be in this field. There's different paths you can take. There's so much research that has been touched or can be touched on in the future, and this would greatly impact the world we're in and the pace it's going. Why I chose to be in molecular biology and biochemistry is because I'm someone that um, realized the path of medicine, so to be a surgeon, to be a doctor isn't it for me. But if I want to help the community and help people around me still studying science, I can do that kind of more so behind the scenes by creating vaccines and cures, researching. So an example of a co-op experience through the MBB department uh, might be through one of the students working at one of our many biotech companies, stem cell technologies, uh, Acuitas Therapeutics, um, Zymeworks. There, there, are, there are many that employ SFU students, MBB students, because they have the training that they need. And, and students would go and work for a semester at one of these companies uh, bring their experience with them, but also gain a lot of um, industry experience. And they would do that for three or four semesters. So I spent the past eight months working at a biotech company uh, around here. And what I basically did is I got more experience in, hands-on in a research lab. So I was a research assistant. I worked with proteins and bacteria. So I worked from them start to finish. So at first I grew them from DNA and then from that I extracted and I purified it. Uh, I am very grateful that I got this experience because I, uh, I came into university knowing I wanted to experience co-op and that is kind of a, helps me get a foot out the door into the real world, helps me gain experience, meet new people, gain connections and uh, it really expanded my knowledge. It was always um, in my mind. I think I always kind of assumed and thought and was interested to pursue academic research. I think it wasn't until the end of my co-op working in a lab uh, for eight months, I realized this is what I do want to be in. So it helped me solidify that this was the plan and I am going in the right pace and the right direction.